My gorgeous cancer, please come closer. Please come closer. You need to listen to me. This is so important. My gorgeous cancer, now it's time. Now it's time. Now it's time. At the beginning of this week, you are going to have such an important message, such an important news, and this news and message is going to make you feel so, so, so happy. Shall I actually say this message, this information, it's going to make you feel ecstatic instantly. Only then, only at that moment in time, you will be able to realize how much some kind of problem, this specific problem has actually been affecting you. This is to do with an ongoing problem in your life you do not even like to think about, let alone dealing with. It's just something that happened to you in your past. You were going through some kind of like a negative change in circumstances and this has been affecting you for a very long time. You did not even like to discuss this. You did not even like to talk about this, how much this was actually affecting you. My gorgeous Cancerini, I just need you to understand to which extent this actually affected your life. And this is why. This is why, because you decided to bury this problem, this situation at the back of your mind. Nothing wrong with that. We often suppress things, you know, at the back of our brain. And this is how, this is, this helps us to deal with other aspects of our lives. You see what I mean? So that's completely normal. But it doesn't mean that, you know, we we must not kind of return to that problem, to that aspect of our lives to deal with, you know. It's just like a basically one of those things. Sometimes we just bury certain things at the back of our minds. We suppress certain things, repress certain things in order to protect ourselves. And this in itself, my gorgeous Cancerini, has been one of those situations. So the bottom line is you're going to get an important news, an important message, and you are going to feel so happy. And I'm telling you that only in that moment in time, you will realize, you will realize how much was this dark, dark energy, how much has been, uh, how much has this dark energy, uh, how much has it been, you know, affecting you, you know, like, whoa. And it's to do with like a really big burden that you had to deal with, you know. And it's not only that, it's not only that, my gorgeous Cancerini, the reason why you're going to feel so, so, so happy. It's not even necessarily because, you know, some kind of problem issue is going to come to an end. But now you will be able to uh, like really uh, uh, go towards this particular opportunity, which you are, which you've had, uh, which, which you had on your mind for a while. You were aware of this opportunity, my gorgeous Cancerini, which is going to be highlighted almost immediately. And this is what's going to contribute towards you uh, feeling elevated like never before and I mean this in terms of happiness so this is going to be big double mama like oh my god so on one hand a massive problem comes to an end and on another hand you're like yay because now you're going to be able to kind of go for that opportunity go for that opportunity which has been on your mind for so long for a while now but you couldn't do anything about it because of this bloody pro problem this problem that restricted you so much in your life and only now only now this is going to become obvious. Thank God. Thank God, my gorgeous Cancerini, that this is coming to an end. I, I, this week, it's going to be remarkable. And this is going to reflect on you, your happiness, your optimism, your spirituality, your mental energy, your practicality. This is going to affect every single aspect of your life. But the bottom line is, you will know which, op uh, which opportunity this is, because at this moment in time, you're almost immediately going to start moving on with your life. You're going to go into this mode of like, being so excited about what you're going to do. You're going to go into this mode being so excited about your present moment, so excited about what you're going to do, what you're going to explore. You know, you're going to be so excited about your future in general. This is going to be brilliant. My gorgeous Cancerini, it's going to feel so good that you will notice how much more energy you have in itself, let alone when it comes to some kind of ailment that has been affecting you for a while. You're not even going to be able to notice it now. Why? Because it's going to start healing itself. This is this is what a bomb, spiritual bomb, this is actually going to bring into your life. Absolutely brilliant, my gorgeous Cancerini. I'm very excited for you, okay? 
And also, when it comes to the beginning of this week, okay, when it comes to the beginning of this a week after this, after this, okay, uh, maybe a day or two after this moment in time, you are going to feel a little bit unhappy. N nothing to do with this situation, okay? So one day or two days after that, you're going to feel a little bit unhappy. It's nothing to do with this situation because you are uh, suddenly going to be reminded of uh, some kind of a mistake that you've made. Okay, so one or two days later, you're going to be like, oh God, you know, a little bit sad and a little bit unhappy because you're going to be reminded of some kind of mistake which you've made in the past. Okay, and this in itself, you've made this mistake, uh, 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 you've made this mistake in the past, sorry. So what you need to understand, what what is really, really important. So you're going to feel unhappy because you're going to be reminded of a, some kind of mistake which you've made in the past. Uh, listen to me very carefully, my gorgeous Cancerini. This is very important. It's not necessarily about the person who is going to try to give you an advice, but there is somebody who is going to try to give you an advice. When it comes to you feeling unhappy about something, when it comes to you uh, understanding and realizing that you are being feeling unhappy because you're going to feel frustrated because you made a certain mistake in the past, which is going to be on your mind. And you see, someone is going to try to give you an advice and it's not about what this person is like. This could be the most amazing person in your life. This could be the most genuine person in, in your life. This could be the most adorable person in your life. But this advice is going to be incorrect. This advice is not going to be good for you. Please, please, please. I really hope that you're listening to me. And I really hope that you're going to hear this reading on time. I mean, it's not going to be the end of the world. But I really hope that you're going to uh, hear this reading on time. Because it's about you feeling unhappy happy about some kind of mistake which you've made in the past and 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 you're going to be thinking about and then you're going to be speaking to this particular person you're going to be talking to this particular person and it's not necessarily a, a bad person it's not necessarily an awful person it could be the best person ever but you need to be strong here and you need to recenter yourself because that particular person is going to try to give you an advice which is completely incorrect, which is completely wrong, which is a big no-no. But because it's somebody who is in your life, somebody who you love, somebody who you are so connected to, we see, uh, we understand advice, we absorb the advice that comes from somebody who is in our lives, who we are familiar, familiar with, you know, in a completely different way. Because we know this person knows like a very specific and aspects of ourselves you know that other people don't so this is that familiarity that actually connects us to that particular person so that in itself kind of a really pretty much so makes us feel differently when we hear what these type of people have to say i completely understand but the bottom line is here my gorgeous cancerini do not follow this advice it's going to be oh my god if you follow this advice something really irreversible is going to happen please Please don't do it. Don't follow this advice whatsoever. This is what I need you to understand. Why? Because almost like about a few days after that moment in time, it's not going to take that long. So what made you feel unhappy in the first place? You just need to wait a few more days. You don't need to act on it immediately. It's just going to be one of those things, you know, one of those hermit moments that the something is just going to, oh, something is just not going to feel right. But that doesn't mean that you need to follow in an incorrect correct advice okay because only a few days after that so that person can say whatever they say but just remember it's an incorrect advice if you follow this advice you will do something really bad for yourself and something completely irreversible that you're not going to be able to forgive you to forgive to yourself just because you didn't trust yourself because at the same time while this person is going to be giving you this advice there are elements uh, of your intuition which is going to be like oh something may not be right something may not be right something may not be right and this is what I want you to follow baby this is what I need you to uh, uh, connect to this is what you need to reflect on but, but the bottom line is don't follow that uh, uh, incorrect advice because only a few days after that moment in time you are going something is going to happen 
something is going to happen, something is going to surprise you, you are going to have a very, very interesting, but really eye-opening experience. You're going to have a really interesting and rather eye-opening experience. And this in itself is going to happen completely unexpectedly, where you are going to become aware of something really specific connected to this particular situation. Your eyes are going to open and you are going to come up with a, some kind of conclusion here and this is going to be the right thing for you to do okay and then you're going to come up with this conclusion uh, what are you going to do about this aspect of your life that makes you feel unhappy only because you've made uh, some kind of mistake in the past now this is what you're waiting for uh, this in it's uh, this little experience is going to contribute to your life so much that you are going to come out of your comfort zone and now that's just so needed it's needed more than ever my gorgeous cancerini like oh my god so this experience which you're gonna have complete very interesting you know this in itself is uh, going to um, you know make you aware of like a conclusion you are gonna have a conclusion based on that experience and it's gonna be connected to this and all I can say is you are most certainly going to make a, a really really intelligent choice here which is going to lead towards the actual resolution towards the actual resolution towards the actual resolution and never mind the fact and never mind the fact my gorgeous cancerini that not that long after that moment in time you are uh, going to like pretty much so you're going to become aware of this uh, like a really uh, uh, important opportunity and an important opportunity that you're going to become aware of after that moment in time this opportunity it's going to be so big for you because at the same time uh, this opportunity is uh, going to play a big a role when it comes to you making an adjustment in your life uh, this opportunity is to do with you making making an important adjustment. So this opportunity is going to be to do with you making an important adjustment. Uh, this in itself, it's going to be like a pretty much so you're going to have a very interesting realization how you're actually going to do this because you are going to surprise yourself here because you're going to do something really brave. You're going to do something that you wouldn't normally do. You're really going to not only do something that you wouldn't normally do, but uh, you know, you're also like kind of going to uh, uh, um, it, it become very active and you're going to become very determined and at the same time you are just basically going towards the idea this is all to do with an idea which you've had for a very very long time my gorgeous cancerini this is all to do with an idea again which you've had for a very long time it's to do with you making an important adjustment when it comes to your life but only now uh, this is going to come in a form of a very interesting reaction realization that now the time is right and when the fact that you are coming out of comf your comfort zone which I've mentioned before this is uh, playing an absolutely huge factor and a huge role in all this when it comes to you doing something really brave something that you wouldn't normally do you're going to surprise yourself but what is going to come out of it is going to be amazing just remember that you're still following some kind of idea which you've had for a while but only now you're going to be actually able to do this not only this is going to be ridiculously ridiculously like rewarding for you but at the same time this is all going to be so wise this is all going to make your life on one hand so much more practical but then on another hand you're also going to be able to do so much more you will do less and you will be able to enjoy your life in a completely different way all this is going to be so rewarding i cannot even explain absolutely brilliant and also my gorgeous cancer when it comes to the midweek, you know, when it comes to the midweek, this wonderful person here, a female person, I really like this person, a uh, very loyal person, a female person and a very loyal person to you. Whether this is like a friend or a family member, this female, oh my God, you can say anything to this person. It's somebody who you know all your life <clears throat> or, some, <clears throat> sorry, or somebody who you know like for a very, very long time. When you know somebody for a very long time, you're not... I, 
very often see them like as a family members. I've got friends since I was a child and these friends are like my family members basically. Yeah, so I'm lucky enough to have a certain friends who I know my whole life literally. So I do see them as a family, you know, it's the same energy really, you know. So that's why I'm saying it's like a female person who you really love, who you really adore. This person is in your life. This person you can say anything to. This person you always say your secrets to. You always talk. You always get on. And that person is really going to give you a brilliant, is going to tell you something so wise. Is going to suggest something to you so wise. That person is amazing. And that person knows you better than you know yourself. I really love this person. This person is gorgeous because I know what this person is going to try to tell you. This person is going to, uh, you're going to talk about something very, very serious, very intense. And this person is going to try to point out something to you, something to be careful about, but in a, such a way where you are going to need to understand that now it's time to protect your energy by setting the boundaries. You need to protect your energy by setting the boundaries at this stage of your life. It's so important. And it's to do with that person, what that person is going to say. Most importantly, what this conversation is actually going to be about. Please follow what this person is telling you. Please follow. You are very lucky to have somebody like this in your life because you can say anything to this person. This person is never going to say things to somebody else. For example, very, very lucky indeed. And also, my gorgeous Cancerini, do you know what? You are basically going to, uh, uh, at around the midweek also, you're going to become aware of this achievement, my gorgeous Cancerini. You're going to become aware of this achievement, and I'm so happy for you because this achievement, you're going to find extra, extra, extra rewarding because it's to do with an outcome of your past efforts. This achievement is to do with something where you put so much of your energy towards, but you were worrying about this element of your life within the last, like, about a year or the last couple of years. You were worrying, you were worrying. So now you're going to be back on the right path. You're back on the road, baby. Nothing to worry about. And even more so, you know, as soon as you become aware of this achievement, as soon as you become aware of this outcome of past efforts, at that moment in time, you need to understand this is like, you know, your life is actually going to improve because at this moment in time, you are going to be so happy because you are going to be able to kind of think about which change you can make, uh, but it's a lot to do with your home. It's a lot to do with your home. So you're going to be thinking about your home again, whether you're going to be thinking about like refurbishing your home, whether you're going to be thinking about, oh, I'm just bored of my sofa, what new sofa. You see how you're going to feel like you're going to start becoming very irritated with certain things in your immediate environment that you didn't do anything about for a while. And, and, and only now it's going to start like kind of becoming obvious and it's going to be sticking uh, sticking into your eyes. You don't say that. What did, what did I just say? I don't know. I don't know. Just sticking in your eye. Don't worry about it. <laughs> just ignore. Void! <laughs> Sasha, come back down here. Come back down here, darling. Yeah, no, seriously, yeah. Uh, so, um, yeah, so it's a lot to do with like this. Uh, uh, what are you going to need? To, uh, it's a lot to do. Uh, do, do, do. <laughs> my God. More function, more function. I need to change my batteries. No, it's a lot to do with like a certain things that you know, we're getting on your nerves when it comes to your immediate environment, certain things you didn't do anything about. You always say, I want to do this, I want to do that, but you didn't do nothing about it. And now it's all going to come like a one big boom. All, all of this is going to start irritating you. And this is only because you're entering a very beautiful stage of your spiritual journey. You're entering such a special stage, you know, of your spiritual journey, my gorgeous Cancerini. So a couple of bad things are coming to an end. And these bad things, things have been affecting you even in this way because you were just persistently worrying about certain things subconsciously you didn't even realize this uh, consciously my gorgeous Cancerini how much you were actually worrying and to which extent things actually took especially when it comes to you being at home and, and you being by yourself you know you were always thinking about certain problems and that did, did drain your energy quite a lot but it did reflect in a, such a way where you just kind of are too busy in your mind you know to notice certain things around you you know and this is this happens when we are under the pressure and when we are going through some kind of stress and start some kind of anxiety and negativity and things like that. So this is actually a remarkable sign, a remarkable that you will feel like, oh, I want to make certain changes. 
listen to me very carefully this is when things are going to sound really weird when you when it comes to you that you want to make certain changes at around this time in your home at your home for example I really hope you're going to listen to this reading because you need to pay attention to what is the very first thing, like very first thing that is going to come on your mind that has been getting on your nerves for a while within your immediate environment, within your home. What, what, what is going to be the first thing that is going to come to your mind? I'm going to do this now. I don't care type of thing. Please do that. Do that immediately. You know why? Because you're following these sacred, divine signals, which can only do good to you in a such a way, as soon as you follow this divine signal, as soon as you start doing this, as soon as you plunge into it, there is a very, very important insight going to come to you out of the blue, just out of the blue, that something immediately needs attention and care. Something you forgot about. You see, that's why I need you to do this. Okay? And also, my gorgeous Cancerini, what else I was going to say as well. By the time you get to the last part of this week, by the time you get to the last part of this week, you know what? This is very, very important for you to understand. Uh, you need to forgive in order to heal. And I know this sounds, oh, here we go. I know this sounds corny, like, oh my God, but you need to forgive in order to heal. There was a, some kind of argument or some kind of disagreement happening, happened in between you and somebody else. And this has been going on for a while. And I know that you blame this person or whatever, but this is not worth it. This is not worth it. You need to understand that at the time when that ha argument happened in between you and that person, that particular person was going through something very, very difficult, very difficult. And I know that somebody was rude to you. I know that somebody was horrible to you. And I know that somebody was not really nice to you. But also at the same time, you need to understand, I'm not defending this person at all. But I'm just saying that this person has been going through something really difficult at the same time. Something extremely difficult that nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows how difficult this is. And that person decided to keep this to themselves. This is the type of person who just doesn't talk about their problems. They keep them inside. And this is one of them. So for the love of God, you are going to be reminded of who this person is because you are. it's to do with somebody who you're angry about and it's to do with you getting some kind of information about that person at around the end of this week. You're going to be reminded of that person. As soon as you're reminded of that person, you're going to think that bloody bastard and that's how you will be reminded, oh my God, I'm still holding the grudges here. You need to kind of try to reconnect with that person. There is a, some kind of terrible energy that has been in between you two, but that's just gone now. That's only like, honestly, it, it, it's, I don't know if I'm even seeing this a little bit petty, you know. So please just try to heal, uh, try to forgive in order to heal. You have no idea how important this is actually going to be. Because the moment, and I can see that you are going to realize this, I can see you reconnecting with this person, and uh, this is going to be brilliant, this is going to be really good for you, and and, and, and you are going to feel sorry about the way things kind of unfolded, but as soon as you, uh, the way things happen in between you two, and you will realize it has been around something really, really silly as well, but after that, after that, as a direct result of this, my gorgeous Cancerini, let me tell you what is actually going to happen. You, after that, you are going to basically have a very unusual experience, okay? So after you this, after you kind of reconnect with this person, blah, 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 you are going to, or maybe like a day or two, you are going to have a very, very unusual experience. And this unusual experience which you are going to have, my gorgeous Cancerini, it's also going to make you aware of something so so strange that you will really not strange but what you're going to find strange is you're going to have an unusual experience and you will see something and what you're going to find strange how, what a deep connection towards something you're going to feel and you never tried this you never explored this but there is something that is going to happen and you will want to learn something 
you will want to learn something and this is really going to surprise you how passionate you're going to feel about some, uh, about this particular thing and for the first time you're going to feel a, such a powerful connection towards something you've never felt any connection before this is the direct result of karma because you decided to forgive it's not only about your own healing and moving on, my gorgeous Cancerini, but what is this actually going to bring into your life as a direct result only a day or two after? It's going to be mind-blowing and it's going to come in a form of you feeling a mind-blowing connection towards something for the first time in your life. You're not going to be able to help yourself but to kind of like start exploring it. Oh my God. You have no idea what are you going to discover about yourself through this. What are you going to discover? It's going to be probably one of the most amazing things of your entire life. What are you going to discover? It's going to change every single aspect of your life right now. And most importantly, every single aspect of your future. What are you going to discover about yourself is going to change your life. And you will see exactly what I mean. Okay, my gorgeous Cancerini, thank you ever so much for watching my videos. I'm sending you brightest blessings, lots of love, healing, peace and light to every single one of you. Sasha Bonasin, Psychic Medium, I love you. Bye.